Uh, hello, everybody, and this is probably the last uh, innovation talk of the day. So um, let's make it interactive. If you have questions, uh, go ahead and ask us. Uh, I'd like to introduce Flora, who's our head of strategy for our home and distribution business. My name is Bidisha Nagraj. Uh, we are going to touch upon a very, very interesting topic today. Now, before we get into the topic, I just want us to reflect for a minute and think about what does home mean to us today? Uh, two years back, you know, we would be at home, we would get up in the morning, leave home, and come back at night. But COVID changed it all. Today, we are, uh, we, our homes are our business, our homes are our schools, our homes are our offices. Just think about the number of hours we spend at home. And we love it, and that's, that's the trend. But as we do that, have you realized that we are consuming more and more energy at home? All our gadgets are plugged in, our laptops are plugged in, our kids' laptops are plugged in, our phones are plugged in. Homes today need more energy. And that is the context of our last conversation today, which is that what does it mean to us? How do we address the fact that we want to stay at home? We want to consume more energy. It's not about a choice between heating or eating, because our energy bills are going up. Before we go any further, Flora, I have a big question for you. Can you talk to us about some of the mega trends that we all need to be mindful about as we spend our time at home? Absolutely, yes. This year has been very special. I think people everywhere in the world have discovered, or should I say rediscovered, that energy is not unlimited. In 2020, in the US, every single American experienced an average 10 hours of power outage, 10 hours. And that was two years back. What it is now, probably double more. And we start to see similar trend everywhere in the world. So power ability and easiness of use is very important. The other element that people also start to really feel is the cost of energy on our monthly bills. Our bill is increasing month after month. And it's not just because we use more energy, it's also because the cost of energy is becoming more and more important. We need to act upon it, we need to take it seriously, and we need to look at the solution to reduce our bill. The last one is, of course, the use of all the different devices that we have. We have more and more devices, cell phones, tablets, playstations, kitchen appliances, sound appliances, all those type of things are energy consume. And we need to understand that all that extra use of devices creating more and more energy has also a CO2 impact. Our homes are consuming more and more energy, are producing more and more CO2. And if we want to really take seriously how we can act upon the planet, we need to find solutions to reduce our own energy and our own emissions. And this is really the third trend that we need to take seriously and that we need to act upon. Absolutely, Flora. So just to recap, three mega trends Flora just spoke about. One is there's so much of power outage that's going around, uh, and that outage is coming from climate disruption. That's disrupting our lives when there's no electricity at home. You're sitting at home, what do you do? Trend number two, like I said, heating or eating. Our bills are going up so much, we have to make some hard choices. And number three, like Flora was saying, there is no plan B, there is no planet B. We're all going to stay in this planet, we have to hand over a great planet to our future generation, but not with the current level of emissions that's going on. So, um, so Flora, these were mega trends, fantastic. What's the solution? What do we do about it? I think we need to make sure that we are, people understand technology exists. Technology is there, solutions are there, and we need to inform, educate, and make sure everyone understands it's not so difficult to equip yourself with solutions to act 
on optimizing the use of energy and reducing our own footprint. How we do it? By leveraging the fact that everything becomes electric, everything becomes connected, and digital is a true enabler to act on the solution. Yep. So, uh, Schneider Electric, um, you know, we, uh, we are a 180 years old company. We are there across 200 countries. Um, we are global specialists of energy management and automation. Um, uh, we enable our customers, consumers, segments to make the most of our energy by bridging progress and sustainability. We call this life is on. Can you talk to us about the specific solution that Schneider Electric has and the game changer that we've launched towards addressing these three mega trends? Right. Absolutely. And maybe we start by mentioning that Schneider is very committed to our sustainability. We have, as a company, a clear commitment to reduce the use of energy on all the products that we have. And you can see here on the booth, we have this fantastic story about reusing fishing nets to produce plastic that is delivered in our offers. We also have a commitment to lower and optimize the way we produce things and making sure from a CO2 standpoint is positively contributing to the overall emission. And the last but not least, we also engage and committed to help our partner, our customer, by delivering solutions to enable people to reduce their own emissions. Emission of your home, of your building, any type of infrastructure. So, so that's number one. The company has a clear commitment and has been recognized as one of the world's most sustainable companies in the world. Then here we are super excited this year in CES because through our Schneider Home solution, we truly deliver a solution that enables people to produce, store, monitor, and control with one single app. And that one single app will help you to truly optimize your solar panel, the use of your battery, how you charge your car, but also how you consume energy in your home. And with that automation and smartness, you will be more and more progressively becoming autonomous in terms of energy and leveraging less and less the grid energy. What does that mean? It means that at some point, as we continue improving technology, your homes can become net zero. It means you don't need anything. You can automatically produce, optimize, and use it for your own needs by keeping high level of comfort. Isn't it cool? Absolutely. And you know, it's very important. I love the app, by the way. And the reason why I love it is that what you can't measure, you can't control, right? So the app uh, helps us uh, con measure, control, uh, as Flora said. Why, why do we call this innovation that we've just launched to address these mega trends a game changer? Why is it different from everything else that's there out in the market? Uh, first of all, nobody does that. Nobody has the capability to bring all those things through one single app. So we are unique, it's unique on the market, yeah. we're the first one to deliver that, and we are super proud, because I think we need to ease customer pain point. I'm sure you all have dozens of apps on your cell phone, and you don't, you don't even remember which one does what. Uh, when you use one, you don't remember what the other one does, and it, it becomes a mess. So having one app to manage everything gives you full easiness of control, but also transparency. The other reason it's a game changer is because through that one app, we serve different purposes. As a homeowner, you really care about your bill. You want the bill to reduce, you want to pay less. And that's what the app and the solution will deliver you. But the other thing is you're also probably a father or a mother. And you care for your kids, you care for the next generation. And minimizing what's your home produce in terms of CO2 is very important because you want to make sure the legacy that you carry for your kids is a good one. And we need to make sure we all act for the planet to make sure the next generation, our kids, or your grandkids will have a good planet to be in and make sure they can continue and build the next legacy for the future. So it's a game changer in a way that it doesn't exist in the market, it allows you to reduce your bill, and it allows you to really prepare the future by having super simple actions. Thank you, Flora, and thank you, everybody. I think it's a great point to reflect, saying, really, the choice that we have to make today is going to impact the future generation. 
like Flora was saying, if your parents, uh, you know, do you do you want your kids to have a great life like we did? And that choice, ladies and gentlemen, is with us today. If we don't act responsibly, then, you know, I think our kids will grow up and say, what did you do for me, right? So with that, thank you very much. Uh, very excited to have shared our vision and what we can do with our energy. Like I said, our homes are changing, our lives are changing. Technology needs to change along with it. Let's all do something right now. We have our Schneider button here to represent all our commitment towards sustainability. Please grab a pen, write something about how you act for the planet. As simple as glass bottle here, go to the glass trash. As simple as I reduce temperature control when it's not needed. Please share what you do. Let's all act for the planet. It takes a few minutes and it just drives the right message. Thank you. Everyone. Absolutely. And then go over to the fun corner, try your hands on some boxing and join the good fight. Thank you very much. Thank you.